if this trinomial is factorable, then there should be factors of a minus 15, which add up to minus 2. Now, to kind of explore those, what I like to do is draw out the factors, not necessarily worrying about their sign for the moment. Just look at 15, that could be 1 times 15, or 3 times 5. Now, I want a negative 2, and of course, if this is negative 15, one of these has to be negative. To make the 2 negative, that would mean that the bigger number, or in this case the 5, would have to be negative. Now that I have these factors, I can rewrite the trinomial as two binomials using the factors here, which multiply to give me minus 15 and add to give me minus 2. So this is going to be x plus 3 times x minus 5. Remember, it does not matter which order I put these. I could put x minus 5, then x plus 3. Because the commutative property of multiplication, it doesn't matter the order in this case. But this product of binomials is algebraically equivalent to this trinomial above. We factored it. Now let's just do a quick check to see that when I FOIL, I get back to the original. If I do x plus 3 times x minus 5, x times x gives me x squared. And then if I multiply x by minus 5, that's minus 5x. The 3 times x gives me a plus 3x. And 3 times negative 5 gives me minus 15, as I expected. So yes, this is going to be the same because these two terms will combine, a minus 5x and a plus 3x will combine, and they'll be the same as the minus 2x in my original. So yes, I did get it right. This product of binomials is the factored form of the trinomial that I started with. Thank you.